Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and welcome back to the next episode of Fortnite Myth Busting. It's been at least a month since I did the previous episode in the series, and loads of you guys have been asking me to bring out the next video. So as promised, here we are guys with the jetpack, and I've basically gone through every single myth, every single idea, every single experiment, anything you can think of with the jetpack. I've done it in today's episode, and what I have to show you guys is going to be awesome. So I hope you guys do go on to enjoy today's episode, as always, if you do, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. The more support we get on these videos, the more videos I can bring to you guys at home because these videos do take a long time to create. In addition to this, I've also got a few methods and tactics which will enable you guys to get the jetpack pretty much every single time alongside the best loot you can possibly imagine. I've done loads and loads of trial and error and I figured out the best method to do this. At first, I wasn't getting the jetpack at all and then once I started using this method, I was getting it pretty much every single game and there's even one specific chest which I recommend all of you guys guys loot because every single time I've looted it I've either got chug jugs or jetpacks and just so many awesome things so I'll show you guys all of that a bit later on in the episode but let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video so to start things off we're going to take a look at what happens if you boogie bomb yourself whilst you're on a jetpack so I asked my friend to throw a boogie bomb at me and this is exactly what happened Yeah, you can literally dance whilst you're using the jetpack, which I think is amazing. I was not expecting that whatsoever. I thought it would just not let you use the jetpack at all because you have literally been boogie bombed. But as you guys saw here, you can still jetpack whilst you're doing the boogie, which is just amazing. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys is what happened in my Facebook live stream just earlier on today. And I decided to use the jetpack on the sky barrier and you can literally go straight through the sky barrier, which is awesome. Now, now something I forgot to do was try and get my of a clear landing as you can see it didn't end too well for me but if you guys want to actually watch my live streams I am live pretty much every single morning or evening every single day and I'm just streaming Fortnite GTA 5 videos whatever you guys want I'm streaming it on Facebook so make sure you guys go and follow my page I will leave a link to it in the description below and I was even playing with fans from the chat in the stream this morning I do that pretty much every single time I stream so you'll actually be able to play Fortnite with me as well if you do get into my streams on Facebook so hopefully I will see you guys there I do have a schedule when you can find out when I'm next live so just follow that and you'll be able to get into my sessions and just watch me live playing Fortnite or GTA 5. Okay so next up I'm going to show you guys exactly what happens if you use the jetpack whilst you are wearing a bush whilst you have a bush equipped onto your character and as amazing as this sounds it actually works this actually happens guys and it's the funniest thing ever you can actually hear my friends laughing in the background. All right. I was kind of annoyed that I couldn't see this from third person because I would have loved to have seen my friend just fly around as a bush. It's funny enough when you get to see them use a bush on a launch pad. And speaking of launch pads, you can't actually use the jetpack on the launch pad, unfortunately. Uh, it does kind of make sense because in order to use the jetpack, you have to double tap the space bar. But because you were on the launch pad, uh, the whole umbrella thing overrides that space bar. So you can't actually use the jetpack whilst you are on a launch pad, unfortunately. So if you guys are wondering whether you can or not, this myth has been busted and you can't use the jetpack on a launch pad in Fortnite. And going back to the whole boogie bomb thing, something which crossed my mind is whether you could actually use emotes whilst you're in the air using a jetpack. Because surely you would think to yourself, yeah, okay, if you can do a dance, then you can do emotes. But unfortunately, you can't actually do emotes whilst you're in the air because your character is currently moving at the time, which I was super gutted about. But to make up for this, I wanted to show you guys something pretty epic because I was thinking to myself, let's put the jetpack to the test. Let's see what what happens if we use the jetpack from the sky barrier and see if we can actually break our fall so we don't actually hit the ground and go splat. So what I decided to do was build up all the way to the top of the sky barrier over and over and over again and once I got to the top I jumped off the building and I used my jetpack to see if I could actually break my fall. And I didn't actually know what would happen here. I didn't know how powerful the jetpack is. I thought maybe the jetpack wouldn't work. Maybe I would be traveling too fast to lift myself up or anything else like that. And just so many things were going through my head 
head because I was starting to doubt that you could actually break your fool whilst you were using a jetpack from the sky barrier. So what I did is I built up from the sky barrier and right at the sky barrier I jumped off. And the moment I was about to hit the ground I used the jetpack and quite surprisingly it will break your fool pretty immediately. Like so damn fast. It literally stops you in mid-air and gives you a nice cushion at landing which unlike my friend unfortunately who did not get that luxury. Anyway next up I'm going to show you guys what happens if you consume a gravity rock whilst you are using the jetpack in Fortnite. And this is exactly what happens. It's a pretty good combo to be honest because you won't take falling damage at all which means you can mess around with the jetpack as much as you want and everything is enhanced because we're using the gravity rock. So if you guys have the jetpack definitely go for the gravity rocks because you can actually get a pretty good combo going and you can do so many awesome tricks whilst you are on the gravity rocks with the jetpack. For this next clip is probably the clip all of you guys have come here to watch because this is exactly what happens if you use an impulse grenade whilst you have a jetpack equipped. Now we did actually get both sides of this. I used one on myself. I also got my friend to use it on me as well. And I was expecting we would get flown up into the sky and it would just glitch out. We would go straight out the sky barrier, etc. But that is not the case because what actually happens is when you do use an impulse grenade whilst you have a jetpack equipped, let's say you're flying around and your friend throws an impulse right at you, Yes, it does affect you a tiny bit, but it doesn't affect you anywhere near as much as you would expect to be affected by an impulse grenade. So what I've done is I've actually got my friend to throw an impulse grenade at me instead of just jumping on my impulse grenades, and that's exactly what happened. It kind of teleported me in the sky because I was thinking maybe the game would glitch or something because technically I'm already flying around, so to be thrown around whilst I'm flying around, how would that even work, etc.? I thought I would just get thrown into the sky, but it does still work. It's just a little bit glitchy, and it does still move you maybe a couple of meters or so into the sky and it just looks a little bit glitchy at the time but it doesn't throw you into the sky barrier or anything else like that so don't worry about that you can still make it to the ground and if you have the jetpack you probably won't take any sort of falling damage and next up this one was purely for fun we had the jetpack we wanted to do a few more myths a few more tricks a few more pretty interesting things which I thought we could just mess around with so what I decided to do was actually see if you could use your jetpack whilst you are rocket riding so what I I've done is I've got my friend here and we were shooting rockets underneath him until eventually he was rocket riding the rocket and the plan was to get him to use the jetpack whilst he is physically on the rocket so as you guys can see he's now getting thrown away on this rocket ride and he can actually use the jetpack whilst he is riding the rocket which is awesome news because now if you guys are interested in getting any sort of stunts or anything else like that where you rocket rides and do all of those crazy things but you know it's pretty much a one-way trip but if you have the jetpack equipped it now means you can make these stunts, you can make these awesome clips, and you won't have to worry about making it a one-way trip. You can just rocket ride and then use your jetpack and land safely, which I think is awesome. Now, to finish this off, I just wanted to share with you guys a trick which I have been using and my friends have been using to help us record this episode, because if you guys have watched any of my Facebook streams, you will understand that I've tried for hours and hours and hours to try and get the jetpack, and to no success have I found the jetpack. And this is because I was in the wrong game mode, I was spawning in the wrong location, uh, because as you guys can see, this is now my preferred location because every single time I recorded for this video, we landed at Motel. And every single time we landed here, there were llamas, there were jetpacks, there were so many crazy things, and we did all of this whilst we were in just a normal squads match. Now, this was one of our first ever games. We actually got two llamas right next to each other at Motel, and we also got another llama in a game previous to this, also at Motel as well. The, the llama was literally in the same place as the game we played before, which we thought was really strange. Now, this this is also the clip of us getting the jetpack in Motel as well. Uh, all of this was pretty much recorded within the same hour, which I thought was crazy. Like, I was expecting to spend the entire day recording all of this stuff, but most of it was recorded within the hour. Like, literally within an hour. It was crazy. So, this is the clip of me getting the jetpack, and something I want to share with you guys, and I do actually kind of regret sharing this, but if you want to get the jetpack, honestly, I would recommend getting this one chest inside the umbrella at Motel. And the reason why I say that is because not even kidding. Back to back games, I got myself a jetpack and a chug jug from this chest. The next game, my friend looted that chest. He also got a jetpack as well. Every single time we wanted to get the jetpack from a chest, the only chest which was giving us the jetpack was the one in the umbrella. And I really don't want to share this information with you guys because, I mean, this is my favorite place to land and I'm still going to land here every single time. If you watch any of my streams, if you watch any of my videos in the future, or if you just play with me in Fortnite or see me in a game, you're going to know I'm going 
going to land at Motel because that's going to be the place I want to land at when I want to get the jetpack and just awesome loot. So if you guys are interested in getting the jetpack or just great loot, go to Motel because honestly, we have found llamas, we found jetpacks pretty much every single time, even two llamas right next to each other. Now, something else I want to mention is also to do with the game mode. I spent hours in the solid gold game mode thinking that if the jetpack is gold, then I'm going to get it in that game mode. But unfortunately, I didn't get it at all. I got it once and I think someone dropped it for me. Like, I have no idea how I got it. It just appeared in front of me. So the only way I found the jetpack multiple times within the hour was playing squads. And the same applies to solo, duo, squads, maybe 50v50. I'm not too sure. But if you play the all gold game mode, for some reason, it's so damn difficult to get the jetpack in that game mode. I've played dozens and dozens of games and I've seen one or two jetpacks. It seems to be one of the most rarest things in that entire game mode. But if you play normal squads, then jetpacks are pretty much a common item. You can see people using them. You will definitely come across one in a game. So I recommend you guys just keep playing squads and duos and solos if you want to get the jetpack. And like I said, go over to Motel. We found jetpacks and so much good loot there pretty much back to back every single game. So I thought I may as well just share that information with you guys in case you are interested. But even so, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's episode. As always, if you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And don't forget to click that subscribe button just below this video so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. And of course, if you want to see me do anything else on Fortnite, feel free to comment it in the comments section below. And never know, guys, your idea might make it into another video. Now, before I leave, I have one quick question for you guys because I actually forgot to record this. And when it came to editing the video, I realized, oh no, I missed out one important thing. And that's how long the jetpack will actually last, how much time the fuel actually has in the jetpack. So what I want all of you guys to do right now, if you can, is to make an estimate about how long you think the jetpack does last and how much time you have until the fuel does end up running out. I understand you have to use the jetpack in blocks, you can't use all the fuel at once, but even so, there's definitely a time limit, and I think it's somewhere around 20 seconds. I'm not too sure, I could be wrong, but I would love to know your thoughts in the comments section below, and hopefully we can actually prove this question and get a confirmed answer, because no one actually knows how much time is inside the jetpack, and it's a pretty useful thing to know, especially if you want to get the jetpack and want to know how much fuel you have so you can actually work it out in your head and figure out that you can only spend a few seconds doing this and a few seconds doing that, and you can just save your fuel and use it efficiently, which we would all benefit from. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and until next time, guys, my name is Nort, and stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.